Hi guys, and welcome back to Tactical Review. Now, as you're aware, if you need your personal defense tools and you don't have them on your person, they don't do you any good. So whether that's a, let's say it's a, it's a pocket knife, if you need your pocket knife, or you need your trauma kit, you need to have those things on you and ready to go. For your firearm, of course, that means that you need a way to safely and securely have that on your person so that it's ready to go if you were to need it, but it isn't a danger to yourself and others in the way you're carrying it. So to that end, you need a quality holster. So today what we're looking at is another quality holster from Four Brothers Inc. in Logansport, Indiana. Now, just to clarify the relationship between Four Brothers and Tactical Review, uh, Jason and I were a couple of guys who belonged to the same range, both enjoy shooting. So he uh, sent me a text message here uh, three or four weeks ago, I'd say it was now, and he asked me if I would be willing to review another holster if he made it for me. So uh, Jason did provide me this holster at no cost to review, but he has not paid me for this review. Anyway, let's get into it and see what's in the bag here. All right, so inside the bag we have a rather tasteful uh, branding card. We have our inside the waistband holster here. And we have an extra claw so you can adjust the amount of um, sure rotation that's put on your pistol butt as it's in your belt so if you find that this particular claw is canting it too far back uh, you can put it in the the smaller claw here uh, what I have found is that the butt of the pistol is the hardest part to conceal so I typically stick with the larger claw on this and you can see it's a, a very well-made taco style holster that we've got here. Uh, one thing that I appreciate as I was looking at this holster is that out of the box here I've got the uh, inside the waistband belt clip but there's already holes drilled if I would want to put a tuckable strut and soft loop right there and then there's also the holes drilled in the back so the, which would allow me to attach an outside the waistband um, belt buckle system. And just to show you how, uh, how it does, I'm going to go ahead, got a clear chamber here, but I'm going to put the magazine back in so I've got the weight of it. Just to show you guys what the retention looks like on this. And pivot this up just a little bit. You can see it takes quite the shake to dislodge this handgun. So the retention, it's not too much, uh, but it's certainly enough to make sure that the, your pistol is going to stay in place uh, no matter what you're out doing. And one feature that Jason does on all of his uh, holsters that I've seen so far is you'll notice that it's set up out of the box here for suppressor height sights. So uh, it's not uh, not anything I need to worry with right now, but in the future, if I were to go with taller sights, the channel's already in place for that. It's not going to be a separate uh, purchase to accommodate for that. So, enough talking about it. Let's get this in the belt and see how it feels. All right, now hopefully the audio is okay on this. Somebody forgot to grab the microphone, so I'm relying just on the camera here. So... First thing is a traditional 3.30 or 4 o'clock carry here. Alright, this feels a little, I feel a little wobbly because I haven't carried in the 4 o'clock ish position for several months now. I've gotten very accustomed to carrying at the appendix position. Uh, but that claw, I can feel that it is very tightly kicking the butt of that pistol in towards my body which helps with printing and draw from this position again 
I'm, I've become very unaccustomed to carrying over here. The great thing though about this holster is I can very easily actually use this and carry in the appendix position. And just like that. Comfortable, quality holster from Four Brothers Inc. Again, I've really enjoyed working with Jason. All of the holsters of his, that, or both of them that I have, are high quality. All of them that I've seen are great. He has all sorts of custom Kydex selections to choose from. So you definitely owe it to yourself to go to his website, check out what he's got, reach out to him if, you, if he doesn't have any, something on the site. There's a chance that he'll have the blocking for it if you reach out to him. And uh, I was on Facebook the other day. If you're following my page on Facebook, you probably saw my post about it. That through this Thursday, which is September 26th of 2019, uh, he is offering 15% off using this promo code that you see on your screen now. So you can reach out to him. Uh, Go ahead and order your, your holster, your, your mag holders, whatever you got, and make sure to tell them that Tactical Review sent you. Hey, if you like this review, if you, if you enjoy what you're seeing on the channel, make sure that you uh, like and subscribe. If you're watching on YouTube, ring the notification bell so you can see when I upload new videos. If you want to support the channel, you can do so through Patreon using the link on screen. Or if you're watching on GunStreamer, you can click the Contributus link down below and support at whatever level you would like to. I really appreciate my financial backers. They definitely help to ease the burden of running this channel. I enjoy doing it, but unfortunately guns and ammo aren't free. So thank you guys. Make sure that you are supporting the organizations that are supporting our Second Amendment rights. And uh, if you're needing holsters, reach out to Jason at Four Brothers. Hey, thanks for watching. Until next time, shoot straight, stay safe.